The Nintendo 64 is a system that has a library of games that many people love, including myself, but many people do not enjoy using the Trident style controller. I don't mind it personally, but a lot of people are looking for different options out there. That's why things like the Tribute 64 and Brawler 64 have been so popular from Retrobit and Retro Fighters. Make sure you check out our reviews of those controllers here on the channel. But there are people who want to be able to use like a PlayStation controller with their N64, an Xbox controller with their N64. And since it doesn't have a wireless controller capability out of the box, the first system that had that was the GameCube with the WaveBird, and that had its own separate dongle. Well, the team over at 8-Bit Mods has this here. This is the Retro Time N64 Bluetooth adapter using Blue Retro's architecture and everything that you should be able to go ahead and use practically any Bluetooth controller with your Nintendo 64. Let's go ahead and let's take a look at this real quick. Let's see what it takes to get it set up. Let's play some games. Let's go. So here we do have the Retro Time N64 adapter. You can see the 8-bit mods logo down there. A little bit on the side on that way. And on here, plug into original N64. High quality molded shell, not 3D printed, it is molded. Uh, button for easy pairing, LED indicator for pairing as well. And uh, let's take a look at what we got inside the box. What's in the box, man? What's inside the box? So really, this is all that it is. You've got your push button there and your LED there to indicate uh, that it is connected. Now, one thing I do want to do, we're going to set the box and everything aside here real quick, is I do happen to have an N64 here. Let's just check the fitment. Bit of a tight fit, but I don't mind that. Yeah, that works great. Now, one other thing I do want to check here real quick is I'm going to grab out the instruction manual because... So it walks you through first time setup, turn off your N64, plug in the N adapter to any of the controller ports. Uh, LED on the adapter will start pulse pulsing slowly. This indicates the adapter is ready to pair. Using a Bluetooth controller, enter its pairing mode. Well, after a while, the controller will automatically pair to the adapter and the LED light on the adapter will turn off. From then on, when you turn on the console and the controller, they will automatically pair to each other. Uh, adapter buttons walks you through that it has a single button. Uh, that controls the mode, short press, disconnects all Bluetooth devices, hold for three seconds, will enter pairing mode, hold for 10, will perform a factory reset, the LED light. Uh, the adapter has a single LED light that indicates current pairing status. Solid green shows that there is an error. Uh, pulsing indicates that the adapter is in pairing mode and off the adapter is functioning properly and controller is connected to it. Now you can enter into the web configuration mode, very similar to the... Um, the adapter that we have for the GameCube. In order to connect the web, all Bluetooth controllers must be disconnected. Uh, it gives you the website, and then you can go ahead and do uh, firmware updates and things along those lines. Walks you through FCC compliance. Now, one other thing. I wanted to say that this actually had a built-in memory card to it, but I'm not seeing any reference to it, so we shall check and see when we plug it in and test it out here in just a moment. All right, so we are starting out with the Retro Fighters Duelist Bluetooth controller. Now, this was designed for the Nintendo Switch, and as you can see here, it's working just fine. We'll see how this plays. I'm intrigued. Good luck. So the side triggers working, or the uh, the bumpers are working just fine. Getting them just fine. Oh, come on! Got him. Yeah, this is working fantastically. Whoa, except for right there where I dropped a little bit too low, I guess. Now, to connect to my system and whatnot right now, uh, this is using one of the GCHD Super 64s. I do need to HDMI mod my N64. Uh, I just have not had time to do it, or at least to finish it. I know Postman, I got one from him uh, recently. Right analog stick is working beautifully for yeah, the um, for the C triggers. Whoa, I'm feeling very responsive. I'm liking this very much. All right, we're gonna switch it up and go to our next game because this is I'm I'm very happy. We're gonna try a different controller then too. So we've switched things up here, <laughs> and just in doing a little bit of testing before I hit record, this is awesome. PS4 controller with golden eye. This is awesome. Although I kind of want to 
flip the stick control. So messed around a little bit with the controls, and I just found that what you know the default was. That's kind of where I wound up at uh, with you know controller one. But I mean, it's working there. Got him. It is just weird that this game does not suit itself well, at least default to twin sticks. It just doesn't. There's there's no way around it, but you could do it. And part of my issue here is just trying to unlearn what I am so used to playing modern shooters and whatnot. Let's see if we can get him in the head. Got him! Yeah, this is going to take me a while to train my brain how to do it, but I think this has some potential because a lot of what we've developed over the years for just, you know, muscle memory for playing twin stick shooters, this game does not do at all. <laughs> but the fact that I'm playing Goldeneye with a PS4 controller... Um, Pretty stinking remarkable. J J J J J J J J J J J J J J J J J J Yes, this one goes out to our good friend J over at Square Pegs. And what I have here is the N64 Switch Online controller. And, uh, oh yeah, it works. It works works hell yeah now one thing i will say i don't like the stick on this i never have but that's on this controller not on the adapter womp, 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 oh this is fantastic if i could just remember how to go ahead and shoot which i guess you just release so what do i think of this um overall i think it's pretty brilliant um I love the fact that I can just use it with any controller, and it works. That's Bluetooth, at least. Poochie! Um, the fact that it works with the Switch Online controller, hell yeah. Even though, like I say, I'm not a fan of this controller myself, it just works. It's a beautiful thing. You know, I don't feel like I'm missing anything either as far as button presses, lag, delay, latency... You know, does not appear to be an issue. Yeah, I mean, for the money, you know, it's fairly inexpensive. Um, and you can get these through CastleManiaGames.com. That's where I got mine through. Um, and it delivers. And it's, you know, they're always working on future updates, at least for the firmware on the GameCube. So I assume that you're going to have the same, you know, wonderful experience here, too, which is terrific. Um, you know, and it's the closest we're probably ever going to get to an OEM wireless solution for the N64 because you can use it with their own controller. I mean, that's fantastic. Absolutely love this. Yeah, I got to say the RetroTime N64 wireless Bluetooth adapter from 8-Bit Mods. This thing is legitly awesome. I'm really digging this. The fact that, you know, I went from everything from, you know, the, the Duelist from Retro Fighters to, I was surprised at how much I actually liked the DualShock uh, controller from the PlayStation 4. And then the fact it works with the Nintendo OEM wireless N64 Online controller. This is just it's brilliant. I absolutely love everything about this. And the price on this is reasonable enough that, you know, even if you wanted to pick up four of them to outfit your system, you could do it and not break the bank and know that it's going to work with pretty much any Bluetooth controller that you have. Now, if you do want to pick one of these up, I will have a link down below in a pin post to CastleManiaGames.com. Ryan does have these available on the site. And the cool thing is if you use promo code ROCKSOLID10, you can save 10% off of most items on the website. Not sure if this is eligible or not. Something you'll definitely want to check out, though. Um, man, this is awesome. I really, really love this. Now, if you want to check out my full-blown unboxing and review of this, because I was not a very big fan of it, I'll have that link for you right here where you can check and see what I liked about it, what I didn't like about it, 
and why maybe you shouldn't pick one up. 